In this video, I am going to show you and introduce you to flow user flows and how actually you can create this flow diagram and what actually all these symbols mean. What this what does this rectangle mean? What does this oval mean? What does this diamond actually means? And also this parallelogram. So we are going to cover just these four basic uh, uh, shapes. There are a lot of other shapes, but I think we don't need most of them. Right now I am using flow map, which is an awesome online app to create user flows. I am on right now a free um, plan. So you can go ahead, sign up and use that and create, uh, start creating user flows and site maps. Anyhow, so right now we are going to start with this user flow. No, this user flow is actually about uh, a user downloading the Envision app, which is a prototyping app and actually commenting on the prototype. So all the steps involved from start to finish till the time he comments, we are going to show them in a flow that a user is going to flow from here to here to the to new screen to new process to new action. So you can see the first step is actually a rectangle. Rectangle means a process or activity. So download Envision app in App Store. So this is a process I'm doing. I'm doing an activity. Then I'm going to launch it. This is another activity. Now you can see sign is in is actually in an oval. Now why it is an in an oval? Because oval means that it is going to be the starting point of that uh, process. So um, you can see these are actually pre preliminary actions. We had to download Envision app to you know do that and do comment on the prototype. So this is actually the starting point. Sign in. And you can see if we, I'm pressing actually space bar and dragging it up. And here we have uh, already have an account. So this is a decision. So it has two paths. If you have the account, you are going to go to one path. If you don't have the account, you are going to go to another path. So these are two paths. So once we uh, have a decision to make, we are going to use this diamond. So already have an account question mark. So if yes, we are going to enter login and password. So this is an input. We are uh, inputting into the system our login and uh, password fields. We are inputting data. So this parallelogram is actually mean means that we are giving some input. So whenever you uh, try to give some input to your system uh, in any format, uh, filling a form or filling a sign up form or things like that, you are going to enter uh, you are going to use this parallelogram. If you don't have an account, you have to go through the sign up process. It is a process, so that is why it is actually showing into a rectangle. Let's go down. Okay, so after login and sign up, we are going to go to the home screen and uh, then we are moving to the next application navigation. Then we want to see and comment on the uh, prototype. Then we have uh, open prototype tab. So these are all the processes uh, user is doing. So he's right now open the pro prototype tab. Then we have an active uh, prototype, uh, opens the prototype or active product, select the layout, uh, opens the layout, holds tab, tab. So you can see these are all different processes. There is no decision. It is a straightforward one step, next step and next step. Then we have, you can see over here, wants to leave a comment. So whether he wants to press cancel. So there are two paths, whether he can leave a comment or he can, um, uh, he can press cancel and go back to this layout. So you can see over here, here we have two paths. One is this cancel and it goes back to open the layout. And if we press yes and click on the comment mode, it is going to go to the comment mode. So this is actually going to another process line over here and you can see click comment mode, select comment area, writes a comment. So whenever you are typing something, you are inputting. So again, we are using a parallelogram and press to publish. So this is actually the end. Whenever a process or every, anything completes or ends, you are going to use a circle, okay? press to publish you can see it is a green circle now here it ends so that is all about creating a user flow diagram in this flow map you can use any other graphic tool too but i think using this on online is very easy they have all the shapes and everything already built in so um 
if i go to my account let me go to my account i have the projects this one is frockland and if i go over here you can see here is the um, uh, site map i have created here is the user flow diagram okay now if i want to add something over here i am going to click in over here in this empty area and i am going to use a uh, circle over here because it has ended so i am going to say something like um, uh, successful onboarding let's make it a little bigger like this like this okay now we are going to connect it with like this one and let's turn this to green okay so we have our successful onboarding so you can see over here you can also uh, do something over here like uh, this and i'm going to press over here um, start so before that if we want to have a few more screens over here i can link it over here like this if i want to have something like um, a process which is download app download app from app store and uh, then we are going to have another one which is uh, over here launch app sofa app or something like that okay so we are going to connect them like this and like this so you can see it is pretty easy you we have these two processes then we have the start once it has been launched it is going to show us a welcome screen have an account um, no then we are going to have this create account or sign up a sign up and if we have this then we are going to go to login uh, you can also use an input over here but for simplicity I, I am i have skipped that and if you want to use it you can use it let's drag it a bit at the bottom i'm going to expand it a bit because it is a bit not showing okay so now it is showing let's move this a bit over here a bit over here like this okay so here we have our uh, onboarding user flow diagram and uh, if you want to export it you can go to this arrow over here you can share it with uh, from over here and you can export it from here so if you click on export you can see we have few options that export as svg format export as a png format uh, transparent background if i want a transparent background i can have a transparent background project title document creation date you can hide it if you want to show it then we have original size and uh, i think we can also have custom size but it is actually uh, maybe uh, for the png because svg is scalable vector graphic we don't need a size uh, for png we might want to use some custom size over here for example 3000 by 100 1012 and i'm going to export it as a png and uh, if you want to export it as svg that's uh, another thing you can also export is it as a doc document x which is um, uh, a new feature i think they have just added you can also export it as a pdf so these are all different exporting options you can click on generate preview and it is going to load the preview project name uh, so that is uh, this is its site map okay so that is all if you have any questions or any comments or anything you want to learn about this app flow map or about uh, user flows or site maps let me know if you have any questions do ask me let's move on to the next lesson and the next video